But we know writing is one of the most effective ways of learning a language. And not just to learn how to write, but also to learn how to speak. Even if it's counterintuitive, I'll explain in a minute. Now, the problem with writing is that they usually just throw you at the deep end of the pool and they'll ask you to write a fairly long composition. Usually, writing tasks are actually given as homework. You give them to the students and they'll just have to do whatever they can, maybe hand it over to the teacher the day after. Now, Frankly, I have not been in the classrooms for the past few years, so I don't even want to imagine how different it is now that we've got ChatGPT and Google Translate. I can imagine a big, big portion of the students being in a rush, last minute, asking ChatGPT to create a text and just giving that to the teacher. Which again, well, this may save you for the homework that day. Writing is one of the most effective ways of learning a language hear that. If you are skipping that stage, you are hindering your chances of becoming a fluent speaker in the language. And why is this? This is because when we write, we are creating language in our brains. We are already doing the same type of exercise that we do when we speak. But we are doing it much slower because we are not able to write as fast as we actually speak. And when I work with the students, what I recommend is that they start by writing by hand because we write the slowest when we write by hand. So we are giving our brain more time to process the language, to process the rules, to remember all the new vocabulary and to try to create new sentences with it. Remember that in the same way that when you read, your brain is activating the speaking part of the brain, so does it when you are writing. So by writing, you are not only just trying to retrieve all the rules and all the vocabulary, but you are also practicing pronunciation before you even open your mouth. Once students are comfortable handwriting, I usually let them go into a computer because in a computer you can write at about double the speed that handwriting, but it's still slower than speaking. And once you're actually comfortable writing at a computer and using all the vocabulary in a fairly fast way, that's when I would move you into a speaking. And this isn't because I want to slow you down or because I don't want to let you immerse from day one, like some methods actually claim. The reason is purely neurological and it's because a speaking can be extremely overwhelming if you are not prepared for it. By starting by writing, you're scaffolding your brain's ability to create meaning in that new language. Following this approach means that when students start speaking, are able to produce much more complex sentences, using much more advanced vocabulary, and actually have a more fluent pace. Unfortunately, in normal classrooms, this does not happen this way. The writing tasks may have nothing to do with the speaking tasks, and the speaking tasks are very often fairly short, very guided, they're trying to scaffold, but they're not basing their scaffolding strategy on what we know from neuroscience. My name is Esther, I'm a doctor in language education, and here I discuss issues related to multilingual education and to language learning in general. If you like this content, don't forget to like, and if you want to see more videos like this one with other useful research-based advice on how to become a much better language learner, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of new topics coming up in the next few weeks.